I am Professor, also known as Eric Corwin. I'm the founder of Electronics and Tech Foundation Africa. I have an affinity for building um, electronic systems and writing computer programs and firmware. I have designed um, quite a number of electronic systems and um, I also take great delight in teaching and mentoring people uh, in systems design and programming. I must say that I am very happy about the way a lot of people are getting into the business of doing electronics and uh, programming. And I hope this continues at a much faster pace uh, so that Ghana and uh, Africa as a whole uh, will become active players in the field of science and technology. Now, I want to throw photons on a few observations that I've made uh, for which I am starting this lecture series. What I have noticed is that mostly people want to do interesting stuff like assembling modules to create cool things like line flowing robots, drones, etc. Which are all good. To help you understand what I'm about to say, I've developed what I call the tiers of electronics. And um, in this model, there are three layers. The first tier is where I classify the researchers and component designers. Now, this is the tier where rigorous physics and uh, mathematics are applied to create the electronic components like resistors, diodes, capacitors, transistors, uh, ICs, etc. that we use in our circuit. The people who drive uh, today's electronics are those operating in this tier. What they do is uh, they use uh, physics research findings uh, to create cutting edge sensor and uh, devices like the OLED screens, high speed processors, optical devices, etc. The resources required here are usually capital intensive and uh, there is a need for an in-depth understanding of uh, physics, mathematics and circuit theory. This is the tier where the interface between physics and electronics is created. Now, people who operate uh, in this tier may use rigorous mathematics and physics like Maxwell's equations, uh, quantum field theory, electronic band uh, theory, chemistry, and uh, solid state physics theories directly. In the end, uh, what they do is they impose some boundary conditions uh, that sets rest uh, certain restrictions on the physics theories. Uh, so that they can come up with the electronic devices and uh, components that we use in circuit. The second tier is where fundamental circuit theories and electronic engineering principles are employed to craft systems for various applications. At this level, although you still deal directly uh, with physics, it is not as rigorous as it is in the first tier. In this tier, the basic laws and uh, phenomena in electricity and magnetism and uh, some selected topics in modern physics are required. Now, the mathematics involved is usually calculus and linear algebra. This tier also involves the use of circuit simulation and spy software like PSPICE, LTSPICE, etc. Now, the third tier in my model is where I see most people operating. In this tier, all you need are some basic circuit principles such as Ohm's law, potential dividers, and uh, a few others. You don't have to be a pro in physics or electronics uh, to be part of this tier. Mostly, this tier is about assembling modules to create systems. So all you need to know to build something awesome is the manufacturer's manual on how to set up the device. For instance, someone operating in this tier can create a motion detector without a sweat. Uh, by using PIR module and a microcontroller board like an Arduino, uh, one can easily set up a PIR-based motion detector. Now, for Hobbitronics, which is... Uh, term for doing electronics just for the fun of it this is a good place to be however the third year abstracts a lot of useful circuit design fundamentals now some manufacturers can even make it so easy that all you have to do is to connect the wires what they do is uh, they create libraries and firmware example which you can load onto your microcontroller and you are good to go 
from my few years of experience uh, i have realized that to be able to create or some things you cannot do away with physics mathematics and the uh, circuit design fundamentals and uh, i always always say that uh, if you can manipulate the building blocks you can build anything it is okay to assemble modules and uh, breakout boards when you are having fun as a hobbyist but mostly for real consumer applications um you wouldn't have to throw uh, a whole arduino board into a circuit just to switch on a light bulb so having the ability to design your circuits around uh, just the ICs and sensors makes it possible to craft your circuit into any desired shape and size. Uh, thus, um, you are not restricted in terms of size and uh, shape of the system you are designing. For instance, this is a device that I designed a while ago. It is a simple security light controller that I created for a home automation project. It has light sensing, motion sensing, and daytime capabilities, and it is powered by an ESP32 microcontroller. The system interfaces with an app via Wi Fi connection. Now, I use the ICs and sensors directly without any breakout board or module, and in the end, the board size is just about 8 by 8 centimeters. Now, to reproduce a similar thing with a breakout board, you will need a DS3231 RTC module, um, an ESP uh, microcontroller board, and uh, a PIR module. Now, by just putting an ESP32 dev kit microcontroller board uh, together with a um, DS3231 RTC module and a PIR module, uh, without the other components in the circuit, you would have used about um, 7 by 5 centimeter uh, area already and uh, this is actually one of the smallest possible arrangements that you can have with these modules so you see that you'll be restricted in terms of the size of the board the height and the shape that of, of the system that you are designing and uh, moreover if something breaks down on these modules most people cannot fix them so what they have to do is buy new ones to replace the, the, the spoiled ones okay and uh, i must say that some of these modules are quite expensive now i think that if you really want to build a career in electronic system design then you should be operating in the tier two of my module you see it is very tempting to get carried away by today's technology trends uh, people get interested in the things i do and uh, when when they come around they also want to learn how to do these things in a few days but the fact is that whatever i can do now is as a result of years of learning practicing failing on learning and relearning and even after all this i'm i'm still not there yet okay now come to think of it when the countries which are major players in technology today were building their foundation in science and technology we were probably doing ancestral sacrifices okay now whatever they can do now is because of the good foundation that they have built over the years and all the pains and sacrifices that came with it fortunately we don't have to be the albert einstein and isaac newton to come up with theories these theories principles and methods are now available for free we learn them in schools too just a google search can land you in tons of books about all these principles that they use in their device manufacturing and stuff now if we can dedicate a few years to build um, a solid understanding uh, of the application of these theories uh, we can get a much stronger foundation in technology and then we can uh, apply technology to solve our problems now i hope to see and i i say this with much um anticipation i hope to see Ghanaians and africans for that matter partake massively in that year one of my model yes you don't have to reinvent the wheel that i understand but you see sometimes knowing how to make the wheel gives uh, rise to innovations paradigm shifts and uh, tech disrupt uh, if you love robotics okay then it is not okay to contend with assembling part 
what i think you should do is to also get into the business of building those parts because what will you do if uh, the manufacturers who produce the parts that you assemble stop producing them now if you also love artificial intelligence and its associated fields like machine learning uh neural networks deep learning and all those stuff then don't also contain uh we're just using libraries yes it makes the work easier that's i understand but then uh, what would happen to your career if the makers of this library stop writing them you see so these lectures will focus much on the tier two of my module we will learn uh, how to design simulate and build circuits either on breadboards or uh, printer circuit boards now i believe that the best way of learning anything is by doing it to make this available for everyone we decided to run this for free however you can sponsor us through donations in cash or in kind we are still setting up our studio and um, acquiring teaching materials. Your support will help us make uh, such training available for free. I entreat you not to skip the process no matter how tempting it may be. You see, it is the fire that makes the rocket reach its altitude. Okay, Now, the process may be painful, but it's worth it. It will require conscious effort, discipline, passion, consistency, and det determination. But you see, once uh, the rocket escapes the Earth's atmosphere, it needs no fire. So you see, in the beginning, uh, it will be a little bumpy. But if you diligently continue, you shall overcome and appreciate uh, the beauty of electronics. In this lecture series, we will be promoting made in Ghana electronic products. So if you're a developer and uh, you have such things, please just get in touch and uh, we'll be uh, glad to promote your products on this channel for you. We will also be interviewing experts in the field of science and technology. Now, mostly we will learn about how they apply physics and electronics in their daily activities. You can sponsor or partner with us. Our sponsors will enjoy advertisements and mentions in relevant prints and lecture materials. Uh, we have the Tech Foundation Outreach Programs, which um, schools and institutions can actually sign up for. What we do is uh, when you, you call us or you invite us, uh, we visit you and have at least a one-week lecture with you in any uh, tech-related uh, subject that you want. And um, also, if you're a group of individuals who want to learn any tech-related skill, please get in touch. We, we are happy to help. We are poised for action. What about you? Yes, we don't know it all, but we hope to do our best. All your comments and suggestions will be carefully considered. Please, subscribe to our channel and like it. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Remember, sharing is caring. Thank you for watching. I am Professor and see you in the next tutorial. Peace.